What's up guys? Today I'm checking out the cheapest mechanical keyboard available on Amazon. The keyboard I picked up is the MK Star 87 key by Mage Key. It is a 10 keyless keyboard and comes in at $25. It features blue clicky switches, as anti-ghosting, and customizable backlighting. Unboxing it, we see the keyboard and a plastic keycap puller. I find it strange that there's a keycap puller included because there were no additional keys in the box, but it is a nice touch for the price. The unboxing experience itself is nothing special, but it does get the job done. Moving on to the board, we see double shot ABS keycaps and the Mage Key logo above the arrow cluster. This is a tray mount keyboard with an aluminum plate. It features a non-detachable cable, which is shielded in rubber and feels relatively solid for the price. The plastic case feels substantial and has little to no flex. The keyboard also comes in at 832 grams, which is fairly hefty for plastic. The back of the case features two rubber grips at the base of the keyboard and feet if you want to change the angle of the keyboard. The grips themselves offer little to no assistance with the board sliding around, unless you flip the feet down. Beneath the keycaps are some standard plate mount stabs, which appear to be factory lubed with some sort of oil. The oil appears to be only on the stem and not inside the housing or on the wire, so I would consider them stock. The cutouts in the aluminum plate for the stab are not particularly tight, so there is a bit of stabilizer wobble. However, this is not really noticeable when typing normally. They are fairly rattly stock, but much of this rattle does go unnoticed due to the loud clicks in the switches. Let's talk keycaps. The legends of the keys are super clear and the LED shine through is fairly prominent, but not too bright. The legends feel fairly evenly spaced out and are large enough to read. It should be noted though, that some of the sub legends like on the function row are painted on and these will rub off with use. The keycaps themselves are double shot ABS plastic and are fairly thick. Because they are ABS, they will collect residue from your fingers with use. There's also some roughness to them on the bottom of their molds, but this can be sanded away if you really cared. The profile appears to be OEM, but interestingly enough, the bottom row matches the spacebar until the cluster. This is not a big deal, but it does seem kind of strange. So the only real visual flaw of the assembled board is that the minus key in the num row is slightly misaligned but I don't believe this is a deal breaker, especially considering the price. The keyboard features 21 backlighting effects to choose from, many of which are strange and I personally would not use. It's not RGB, but there is a black model that offers different LED colors in every row of the keyboard. You can also lower the brightness entirely if the blue LEDs are not your thing. The backlit logo is obnoxiously bright, but you can set it to breathing mode or off entirely. Beside the logo are two indicator lights, one for caps lock and the other from wind lock. The indicators themselves are not nearly as bright as the logo, but they are still somewhat visible. With all that aside, please enjoy the sound test. If you're just beginning your journey into the mechanical keyboard hobby or want something cheap in a 10 keyless layout, this keyboard may be for you. It has a lot of good things going for it, and for $25, it's pretty hard to beat. Despite all its flaws, it still features backlit keycaps, interchangeable effects, anti-ghosting, multimedia keys, 
and comes in what I would argue is the best keyboard layout for combining productivity and gaming. If you really want a mechanical keyboard without breaking the bank, this is a perfect place to start and a perfect first mechanical keyboard to own. The white case and keycaps combined with the light blue LEDs give off a super clean look and the construction of the keyboard is solid enough to see some abuse. Additionally, this keyboard may also be a good place to start experimenting with your keyboards if you're looking into getting into modding keyboards or learning how to take apart and fix keyboards. Hint hint, upcoming video. Thanks for watching, and if you liked today's video, please consider subscribing. I really love making keyboards and I plan on pushing more keyboard content in the future. With that, I'll see you in the next video.